Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we come with do a little talk here. Yeah, Come, I did me. I did a video um about over a week ago, and it was about um your such lady. Yeah, that um she lives in the basement. Yes, um and because I did do a skit on it after that, I feel say I need to talk about abuse. Yes, and depression. I roll in a one because. It's a big topic, so I'm just going to skim it, yes. So, why I'm talking about this topic, I you know, is because um, a few times, me here, me I listen to um, Laurel, Laurel um, and me I listen to Drama Man they Live, and somebody phone up on Drama Man Live, and because a woman, they phone up and was talking about, they say, the lady, if you go wash her dirty dishes, <laughs> Somebody phone up afterwards in defense of Lolo and say, dirty plate, fina sink. That was what she said. So, and then me hear one of the women says, um, who have a heart for your life, say, uh, your husband for me tell you, if you go wash up your dirty plate then. So, the dirty plate um, in a sink argument is, a few dirty, a few plates can be in the sink after you finish your breakfast or whatever. You put a few there, but most people these days them have a dishwasher. So some people use this, put it in a dishwasher. Some time people put it in the sink. But when the plate them pile high, then you know say that the purse there's a issue here going on. Yes, yes. So, so reflecting back, uh, looking back, I'm um, going back down memory lane because you know we like to go down there. <laughs> Was when them arrows bandit tell her if you go wash your dirty plate them and she not eat out a paper plate here. Yeah. So the the question is that um the way when you come in and shout after her and she come out for the life quick, it makes you wonder if she's been abused by this person and because the rass yeah, and I'm saw the rass say that she live she don't have the basement and him there tap and she had their bottom. So Apparently, you know, from what she's saying, there's no, that's the word on the street, there is nothing going on between them. And so, when she can't go, she's a prisoner in her own home. So, um, what I'm saying is here, so now, it makes you wonder how her behaviour on media social, if that is why she's the way she is, so bitter, yeah. Um, so bitter, yeah, she's bitter, covetous, envious, yeah, and very much watching people life and when when you have a husband and you're trying to proclaim that you're happily married you keep saying oh you're happily married and all that but you on um social media for two or three times a day and it's not like half an hour or so or four hours five hours you're on social media um talking up the things them about other people and it make it you wonder if because you're unhappy you want other people to be unhappy because of you know the name calling and the way you behave yeah it makes you want, and I'm saying that it, my thing is you need some kind of therapy because um, the, per, the sort of person, the Rasse, the word is on the street that you, 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 you turn to alcohol and you smoke in the bud. Mm -hmm. And so she say, and the missus, so, mm -hmm. so nobody go say, nobody, nobody go say, me say, ah, she say, so, so it's an alcoholic. And some people use alcohol and smoking, yeah them things there to mask how they're feeling to make them feel happy but when they finish smoking and drinking you're back to stage one again but my advice is that um you need to seek professional help and therapy here yeah? because you're not all you're not destroying anybody else you're destroying yourself and um you make other people um are actually pressing your button and telling you what to do yeah because when the lady the adult mischief over there she's telling you what to do and when I look back on something you did do a long time ago, when I already tell you if you black up your face, yeah, and, and skit out the lady down at the mountain, that's why I think that you're very, you're being controlled by cub and um, mischief mm -hmm, and them control you and tell you what to do. You can't even talk on your own platform. And what it is really, when when things go wrong, it will be you that's going to get the backlash from it anyway, so... And that me I go say, but when after I, yeah. So people, as I say, you you, you mentioned, are you mentioned? I know me sister you say so. Say you tell people say your husband is a lot older than you. Yeah, have you see that happened before? Yeah, I me mean, know it. Me see it happen several times. When a man is a lot older, 
is very controlling and if you're not working and you're dependent you're dependent on him um to provide things for you then some of them treat people really bad yeah and i feel so you're not happily married you you, you use um a lot of things by saying my husband do this and my husband do that and that's to me um speak volumes that maybe you know you're not i'm asking the question yeah because for your behavior it just sort of shows me that you're not happy because you wouldn't really be watching out people life like that and behaving so badly here yeah. um uh you know the things that you take up and so it makes you wonder what what has it got to do with you mm -hmm. it's nothing to do with you so um yeah so those are the questions that i'm asking really and i'm saying that you know when you're in that situation so you need to seek professional help you probably need to even tell a friend or tell somebody and you need to move out of that relationship you can't stay into a relationship anybody listening um uh, that's going through things like that you can't stay in a relationship that you're unhappy um and you're you're not happy and um you you um you know because you shouldn't be a prisoner in your own home yeah you shouldn't be a prisoner in your own home and to be on social media so much times it does uh, ring a lot of alarm bells yes yeah. so people that are not happily married and they feel as if or they will have um, a partner or someone and they're being abused you know you can get help and there's help out there and you, you tell your family tell a friend or somebody you can go and stay with a friend until you start your life or but it's it's not right to stay in a relationship if you're not happy yeah and i let me i go say i me don't talk yeah but i just feel like say me had to talk about this yeah situation all right then please like and share video thanks for watching